Good afternoon. Welcome to Sacred Heart St. Francis de Sales Church. We extend a special welcome to anyone who may be visiting with us today. Before we begin Mass, please take a moment to stand and greet those around you. The entrance hymn is God Rest You Merry, Gentlemen, number 90. God rest you merry, gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember, Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we have gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our heavenly Tidings are the same. How that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. O oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. O oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Fear not, that said the angel, let nothing you afraid. This day is born a Savior, a virgin pure and bright, to free all those who trust in him from Satan's power and might. Oh, time, things of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Merry Christmas. Today is the beginning of the eighth day of Christmas. We celebrate with solemnity the feast of Jesus being born. And today we celebrate the feast of Mary, known as the Mother of God in today's feast. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of
For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon us. Among all nations, your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. be glad and exhort because you rule the peoples in equity. May the nations on the earth you guide. May God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you, May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. 
The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. There are many blessings about being a priest, and one of them is that I get to bestow God's blessings on religious items. People bring me rosaries and scapulars and religious images and Bibles and I get to call down God's blessings on them. There is a whole book of blessings that's about as thick as one of your Bibles at home. There's a blessing for almost everything and every occasion. Today in our first reading, we hear the first kind of these blessings revealed to us from God. God tells Moses, how it is that he should bless not just religious items, but how he should bless people. May God bless you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you kindly and give you his peace. This is the first recorded blessing that we find in Scripture. And through the generations, we have blessed people and items. And what happens when something is blessed is we ask for God's favor to be upon it, and we also dedicate it for something in particular. Many times it's dedicated for prayer or for service. When you and I are baptized, we are blessed in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We are literally set aside to be God's chosen people, to be his sons and daughters in the way that we live our lives. We get a peek into this in today's Gospel passage. These shepherds, who presumably know very little about religion, or at least probably were not educated with a lot of education, once they see Jesus and Mary and Joseph, they can't help but proclaim glad tidings. They are blessed by Jesus' presence, and they leave that encounter changed. 
and they glorify God, and they become some of the first apostles. They literally are spreading the good news about Jesus' birth. I think one of the beautiful things about today's Gospel passage, and especially today on this Feast of Mary, Mother of God, is that little line that says that Mary treasured all of these things in her heart. When we think about what this means, <clears throat> we have to recognize that in the midst of Mary's busy life, she kept the words that she was hearing, and she kept the events that she experienced in her heart. And she continued to ask herself how it is that God is acting in these words and in these events. And how can she be faithful in carrying out God's word? It is a wonderful example for us to try to imitate. How do we keep and treasure what we hear and experience in our hearts so that we might continue to be faithful living as Jesus' followers? I think it's important also to remember who Jesus was born to and in what situation Mary found herself. Jesus was not born like Moses was, discovered by a princess who lived in a palace with lots of attendants to take care of the princess's needs. Rather, Jesus was born to Mary who was a poor woman, who worked hard day in and day out to prepare the meals, to gather the drinking water, to find fuel to heat the home and to cook, her life would have been very challenging. When we look at the religious images, our, our windows, our, our art books, we very frequently see Mary with a halo, which is beautiful and appropriate because we know that she's the queen of saints. But we should never lose sight that she was also a hard worker, somebody who lived a difficult life and somebody that you and I can relate to. You and I have burdens in our own lives. You and I are all busy to different extents. We have concerns and anxieties, and so did Mary. And despite these hardships, Mary still found time to listen to the words and experiences and to treasure them in her heart, trying to figure out how God was working among her. As we celebrate this feast day today, let us remember that you and I have been blessed by God. We've been claimed by God. We are God's beloved daughters and sons. And as such, we have been set aside to do his will. Perhaps it's not like the shepherds who go out and proclaim that we've, what we've seen, but by our greetings of people, and in our words and actions, we can be a blessing for others. Let us pray that something at this Mass, or something of this day, may resonate in our hearts, so that we can ponder it throughout the week, perhaps throughout our lives, asking how God is at work, even now, in our midst. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty.
maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As sons and daughters of God, we cry out, Abba, Father, with our needs and the needs of our brothers and sisters. Let God's holy church grow in unity, holiness, and in love for Mary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let the leaders of nations work to end war and establish lasting peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That orphans, especially young children, be nurtured and healed by loving foster parents and guardians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, especially those listed in our parish bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community be a place of welcome and solace where those who are lost can find their way home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, especially Raymond Pesano. May they experience the fullness of joy with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for all eternity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold in our hearts, united through the intercession of Mary, the Mother of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of peace and justice, we, your children, cry out to you, longing for peace and desperate for justice. Hear our cries and the prayers we offer. Grant them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. The offertory hymn is Away in a Manger, number 92.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, 
you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servants, Francis, our Pope, and Christopher, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, in particular for Pope Benedict, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. I should have turned to my room. Only say the word. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and forever. The communion hymn is the little town of Bethlehem, number 89.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church through Christ our Lord. For the final blessing, just know of our wishes and prayers for a happy new year as we bring that in in a few hours, I believe. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The recessional hymn, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Number 99.
Yeah.